what's up guys welcome back to another video man we have been on one with the chopo and this bot has extended a lot more than i ever thought that it would and we have been having a ton of fun with some super violent bites and why should we end it today when they're biting it like they are and so that's what we're going to do we're going to go check and see some new areas actually go check some new areas some new water some new kind of bluffed out areas to see if these fish are eating today and then we also might go check a little bit of frog fishing stuff as well once we get later on into the afternoon and evening and those mats have warmed up all day long because those fish should be in them and they should be eating but we're out after it again today. We're gonna to go see if we can get some just more of these gnarly blobs that we've been getting. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying them. I mean, I know one thing, if they're eating a top water, why would I throw anything else? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video. And without further ado, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get fishing. There we go guys, pretty little small mouth. Ain't a giant, but he smashed it. Thanks man. <laughs> Man, that's an awesome bite. It's a good fish too. He is pissed. Hell yeah. So this time of year guys one thing that happens is these bait fish start to move back up shallow you know we hear so much fall fishing you know go to the backs of the pockets you know the bait fish are heading to the backs of the pockets da -da 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 -da. which is true you know the, the bait fish will eventually start moving up shallower again they will start moving to the backs of the pockets but oftentimes before they do that or if they ever even do it they'll get out here on these main lake bluffs now i love a bluff you guys know i love a bluff i fish bluffs quite a bit and it's because these fish live here year round they are residential they live their entire life here and the reason that they live here is because they have everything that they come on come on they have everything that they need here they've got food they've got access to deep water they've got access to oxygenated water they've got access to warm water cool water they've got access to shallow water they've got access to deep water i mean essentially a bluff is like the ultimate apartment for a bass because no matter what happens if the water's high if the water's low if it's cold if it's warm if it storms if it doesn't if it rains if it doesn't if the sun's shining and if it isn't these fish have somewhere to go and they don't have to move very far to do it because they are lazy that's just plain and simple fish are lazy 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 they are ambush predators they take advantage of food coming to them and even when they're hunting food like when they're in wolf packs they don't want to move very far and so a bluff gives them abilities to do that and so you like i said oftentimes you will hear oh you got to go to the backs of the pockets because that's where the bait fish are heading most of the bait fish on these lakes in my experience my life living and fishing lakes like i fish with tons of bait fish in them these bait fish will never go to the backs of the pockets they live out here just like the bass live out here the bluegill are the same they live out here just like the bass live out here crawdads are the same they live out here just like the bass live out here because just like the bass the bait fish the bluegills the crawdads the perch the crappie the walleye the muskies have everything that they need on these bluffs on these areas where they don't have to move around a whole lot and where they can either be deep or shallow they can eat when they want to they can get in the shade when they want to they can have everything that they need and live right here their entire lives and so 
just keep that in mind you know i talked about that in a video i put a couple weeks out uh, back a couple weeks about top baits for september i talked about look for those condensed contour lines on the maps on your bodies of water that you're fishing and if you do that's going to be those more bluffed out areas that's going to be those areas that have access to deeper water i mean like right now my boat's in 15 feet um, and then if i were to go literally five feet more that direction i could be in 25 feet and so you guys can see a fish doesn't have to move very far to get in deep water neither does they have to move very far to get back up in shallow water so it's just thoughts thoughts from alex rub thoughts from my fishing experience and, and things that i have noticed over my fishing life that puts fish in the boat and bluffs year in year out year round put fish in the boat dude and what is wrong with you man you're all crooked you're eating though it's all matters get out of here bud Little bitty dude. So another thing to think about guys is this time of year as we start to transition into the fall, the bite windows start to expand. And so what I mean by that is, you know, all summer long, we've been fishing bite windows, you know, early in the morning, late in the evening, throughout the night, we have been trying to focus on these certain time periods that bass seem to eat better than others and that's because they definitely do exist when the water is extremely hot in the summer bass are going to eat more oftentimes when the water is cooler and the water is cooler early in the morning later in the evening and all night long and so that's why we fish during those times it's the same thing in the dead of winter you know there are these time periods in which the fish seem to eat better normally that's later in the afternoon when the water has warmed up the warmest it's going to get and those fish's metabolism is moving as much as it can it's a bot window fall and spring those bot windows broaden to where these fish are more willing to eat all day long and so keep that in mind these factors that we worry so much with during the summer and the winter just don't apply during the fall because those bot windows have expanded and you know what's crazy to me is that there's so many people that will say you know the fall transition is not a real thing the fall transition this the fall transition that here's the deal you're dealing like i said with an instinctual creature that lives out in the wild 24 7 and unlike us they are very in tuned in the environment around them as the days start to get shorter as the nights start to get longer as the temperatures start to drop as all of those telltale signs of fall start to set in more and more and more and we inevitably start the march towards colder weather these fish instinctually start to do things that they would not normally do i.e eat more be willing to eat different times of the day those bite windows expand they get in areas that they weren't before they start to do things that they've not done before and it's because they are way more in tune into nature than we are and that's why i always say these fish will start doing fall type things way earlier in the year than we could ever imagine because they are way more in tune into our environment than we are and just like a deer i mean a deer is the same thing I mean, it's a much more complex animal than a bass but still you guys that are hunters you know that deer will start doing things to prepare for the fall and start getting ready for the fall way before we ever can 
realize it because we live in an air conditioned world an air conditioned life yeah we may work out in the heat or we may go out into the heat or we may go out into the cold but for the most part our nice little air conditioned life does not get dictated by the weather like these animals do living out here in it and these bass are no different even though they do live in the water they are very subject to what the world is doing around them and so their instinctual brains start to prepare them for the change a lot earlier than they than we think that they'll be doing it just because our little air conditioned lives aren't dictated by the change like they are i mean this is literally a celestial level change here guys you got to think about this the earth is literally tilting away from the sun we are moving further away from the sun and that is what starts to bring on fall and winter literally this floating rock through space tilts away from the giant gaseous ball of gas that keeps us all alive on this planet if you don't think an animal doesn't know that's happening then i don't know what to tell you again more thoughts from a madman. Golly. It's crazy. That small and it hits it that hard. That's awesome. You know, guys, another thing to consider when you're fishing this style of fishing, and as we go into the fall, when we start dealing with all of these bait fish that come up shallow, you gotta have to do something to stand out in the crowd. I think when you have literally millions of bait fish up shallow, all swimming around it's hard to convince a bass again a creature that instinctually lives that lives on nothing but its instincts i think it's hard time hard sometimes to convince them to eat a fake thing when they're surrounded by the real thing i mean it's just like a bunch of fat people standing at mcdonald's you throw a plastic hamburger in there they're not going to want the plastic hamburger they're going to want the real hamburger especially when there's hundreds of those hamburgers coming out that mcdonald's window as fast as they can make them and i think it's the same thing when these bait fish get up shallow in the fall and that's why i just don't spend a ton of time like milking an area in the fall um, and when we start going into the transition of the fall i mean i just move and groove i go 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 i just keep on fishing and it's because i am trying to get the dumb ones to react i'm trying to get the ones that are willing to react to react and i'm also loud intrusive i'm throwing something big and gaudy with this chopper with a slobber knocker with a spinner bait with a cane walker with a big loud crankbait whatever it may be i'm just trying to be loud and i'm trying to be gaudy so that i can stand out not only in the thousands if not millions of bait fish that are up shallow but also just get that fish to react i don't want them to have a, a a second to analyze it i don't want their little instinctual brain to go eh, it may not be safe for us to eat i just want them to go straight trigger total instinct and go kill 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 and i think when you throw something like a chopo like i said like a slobber knocker when you bring it past their face really fast you don't give them any chance to really assess what it is and let their instincts have a moment to try to figure out what it is that it hits more of that just kill 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 instinct and they do exactly that they run it down and they kill it and so yeah more thoughts from the mind of a madman ladies and gentlemen i may not know a whole lot about anything but i can tell you um i know a lot about eating mexican food uh, i i know how to love my wife and uh, i don't really know if i know a whole lot about fishing i just know that i do it a lot and so hopefully i'm learning something i feel like as soon as i learn something that uh i need to learn something else and so hopefully i'm helping you guys learn that's all i'm doing here I literally I get on the internet and I give away this information for free so that hopefully you guys can go out and catch some fish and have some fun and just experience something different out on the water. So, yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Alright. Another solid little smallie. Beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Bit my dad's gym finger. That's awesome. So another thing that I've noticed guys is with this bite and with a lot of bites when you're on bluffs like this, shade lines are so important. Now shade lines are important period. I mean you look at really any time of year, um, fish use shade. They, they don't have eyelids like we do so they can't like shut their eyes and get away from the sun. Neither do they have sunglasses and so they can't put on sunglasses and get away from the sun and the only thing that they can do to get away from the sun and to guard their eyes from the sun is to get in the shade and they will do that they're also dumb um, a lot of people anthropomorphize fish way too much and what that means is they give fish human characteristics um, they they say you know fish think this or think that fish don't think anything they don't have conscience they are just dumb animals brains about the size of your thumbnail and so they you know they live completely off of instinct and so you know when a fish's eyes get sun in them and they want to get away from that sun they go get in a shade line and then sometimes they like i said not being able to think or rationalize don't know the difference between a shade line and a wall and so they will sit on a shade line suspended out at the end of a tree or suspended in a shade line and they will use that shade line as an ambush point because they think if they're in that shade line that whatever they're trying to eat cannot see them and again there i said it myself they think their instincts tell them that whatever that they're trying to eat can't see them because they're sitting in that shade line and so bass use shade lines not only to protect their eyes but also as ambush points as well and so it's something to keep in mind it's kind of why a bass sits around a dock it's why they sit next to a wall it's why they sit up under a limb it's why they sit on shade lines it's because in their little bitty simplistic mind their instincts are telling them you know we can't be seen they can't see us we're protected here this doesn't hurt our eyes we're gonna be able to sit here we're gonna be able to ambush we're gonna be able to eat what we want to eat and that is what a fish is doing like i said with these bluffs they will just want to be here because they have everything they need including that shade to hide those eyes and to provide them with an ambush point that they can kill things and that's a fastest whole existence kill eat sex poop repeat the process because i don't think they sleep yeah bass don't sleep i think they're like every other fish they don't sleep but yeah but essentially kill eat poop make babies go on with their life that's what a bass wants they're just way, way more simple than i think we oftentimes make them out to be even though there are days that i think they're way smarter than i am and that could be true as well so you know Well, boys and girls, we gave it hell today. Went and caught some fish, got some amazing blubs, some violent blubs, the kind that I like, and it has been a good day to say the least. But it is late in the evening. It is six o'clock. This is the latest I've fished in a while, and it's just because it's been so hot, but it's so nice to know that fall is on the way and that those telltale signs are just marching forward towards what is the inevitability of cool weather, hoodies, chilly, fall time, leaves, just all the stuff that I love. And I love you guys, I really do. I appreciate you clicking on this video. You guys are amazing and I appreciate every time that you click on a video and that you watch it. So, as always, you guys are sweet and thank you for watching.